we've had good luck with a lot of different running backs. And I think uh, every offense looks for a different style of running back. But, uh, you know, Ballard's a big kid who uh, has some great ability. It's going to be interesting to see where he is drafted. But uh, you know, anytime you carry that type of uh, weight and you've got that type of uh, agility, usually good things are going to happen. Uh, Coach, you have several SEC players on, on your roster. Any traits that make them, uh, you know, selective or good potential future pros and, and that they've been able to dominate in the uh, on the college level for the last few years here? Well, you know, I've been in through a lot of different conferences, you know, as a collegiate coach, you know, coaching mm -hmm. for 10 years. And, you know, the SEC, I don't know if there's any conference that can compete with it. You know, there's always arguments. So. Obviously, uh, all the conferences are very good, but in the SEC year in year out, the only thing that's consistent is the speed. Mm -hmm. You're going to see speed in the SEC, and you're going to see a lot of a lot of pro players. So, mm -hmm. uh, that's been going on for a while. And could you talk about your tight end group and how they've been uh, working this week? Tight end group's been doing well. Mm -hmm. you know, one thing you don't see until game day is can they do it when the pressure's on? Can they block? Can they catch? Can they beat the safeties? Can they beat the linebackers? Uh, we got some good-looking tight ends. And the the green kid, he said he wanted to show he could block. Is that have you all been seeing that in in the review of his play yet? Yeah, I think there's always questions. Usually, a guy's known for being a blocker or a catcher. Very seldom at the collegiate level mm -hmm. are they known for both. And that's what you're looking for at the pro level: guys that can do both. And if you do, you know, you got a, a valuable asset. Thank you, coach. Coach. Uh, Last year, the Redskins led the league with six Senior Bowl uh, selections. What is it about this game and this week of uh, practices with NFL teams that really gives the, those players a leg up in the NFL? And uh, could we see that with your experience with these guys this year, part of your draft strategy? Well, it's really not a strategy, but, you, but what you do get a chance to do is evaluate every day in practice, practicing against good players. So you get a chance to evaluate everything they do during the season. And you get an idea what you think of that player. Then you get a chance to see him compete for a week. Everybody gets all the film. You get a chance to look at the nine on seven, the seven on seven, the team, you know, one on one, pass pro with the running backs as well as the offensive and defensive line. You get a chance to the running backs versus the linebackers against guys that will be drafted very high. So to see these guys compete against people, you know, at the same level is a big advantage. Coach, you got four North Carolina guys on your team, and it seems like a lot of Bush Davis's recruits have, have done pretty well in the NFL. Uh, what have you seen from the guys on your squad, and what is it about that program that has allowed them to be so successful in the NFL the past couple of years? Well, Bush has done an unbelievable job recruiting, or he did an unbelievable job recruiting. It's probably the best that I've seen. Uh, it's amazing one guy could get that many great players in, uh, in an organization. But that's, that's another story. We won't get into that. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, no, I just think uh, got a lot of talent. Uh, it's it's going to be interesting to see at the end of the day where it all pans out. But uh, like you mentioned, some very talented players. Because you your whole staff here working one on one with these players, mm -hmm. ask the same question to Coach Frazier. Just mm -hmm. how is that giving you a leg up for the draft and, and further on down the road? Well, you, you know what we've done before, uh, and what every coach does, is he really goes back and looks at all the film. And when you take a look at that film, you know sometimes. You, you, you're trying to compare guys. For example, you're looking at the linebackers and you spend a number of hours just studying the linebackers. And you're looking at the secondary. And you're looking at the defensive line. Lineback I mean, at the offense, you're looking at the offensive line. Then you're looking at the tight ends and receivers. And so, many, so, so much of your time is spent is looking, looking at the talent, you know, the, the agility, the quickness, the speed. A lot of times when you're here, you'll eliminate a guy just like that. And say, hey, you can tell that this guy's not accountable, he's not passionate, uh, he's not what we're looking for. On the other side, you can take a look at a guy and say, hey, this is exactly what we want. You know, if we're going to start a program, we want to start a program with this guy. Because this guy loves to play football. He's on time, he's accountable, he's positive, uh, he enjoys practicing, enjoys doing the little things the right way. And that's what usually separates a good team from a great team.